each of us is responding to a call to action and we still stay in the same heart. We still give deep thankfulness for the, for the presence of love. But what happens when the call to action, life's own calling, um, starts speaking into our physical lives, into our everyday creative action lives? So I want to just share a little story, a story that really has a great amount of innocence to it. It's the story of the birth of a center a place, just like Sunrise Ranch, just like any place where people are drawn by life to come into a healing process and then are activated to serve the field, the larger, the larger work. And just by the way, my story begins and I'll, I'll move through this quickly just with the awareness that I had a very dysfunctional personality pattern when I realized that I was here to serve a larger field. I wasn't an easy personality to harmonize with. And a very wise man, as I returned to South Africa after six years away and having been in Sunrise for three months, advised me to go into gestation, go into a period of non-action, to let my own personal waters of my heart be gathered into a deeper place of assurance in my purpose, for that had already been activated. Fast forward, four friends. We need to move from my bachelor flat into a larger space. We have no resources. We could have be felt very ambivalent. We could have just become very philosophical and, 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 and enter into a, a, a kind of an acquiescent culture of spiritual passivity, open to the universe, but don't do anything. But we knew something else was happening, was focusing amongst us. And so we, we knew we had to do something. You know what we did? We just simply agreed to receive from the universe the next, the new center that would manifest. And it would happen within two weeks, we agreed. And one, each one of us took a compass bearing, north, south, east, and west, um, to call in this miracle, and we would report back within that two-week period. One week later, I received, or less than that, I received a phone call. Could you please assist somebody who has a troubled heart? He was a civil engineer. Uh, his name was Mervyn. I had the consultation with him. His heart was brought to rest. It was a good moment we had together. Later on, I received another call from a very angry Mervyn. Why didn't you tell me you're looking for a center? Your work is very important. We had no money, the four friends. We had no idea of how this would work. We received the gift of a most beautiful sanctuary space in an upmarket area of Johannesburg. And that is the beginning of a very beautiful story that we're now part of and not now part of, that we are part of, because life has drawn us to serve its calling. And our willingness to genuinely and fully receive the gifts of life, to let our consciousness be healed, to go beyond all patterns of constraint, limitation, personality dysfunction, or even healthy personality charm and all the rest of it, but to, to give ourselves into the field of life's calling is the most joyous, fulfilling, shared action available to any human beings, because it really births a new world. <laughs> 